The lead out is one of the most talked about parts of sprint stages. It's that dramatic, flat out, high speed finale where a team or teams will try to place their sprinter in pole position for that final dash for the line. Yeah, it's an incredibly difficult skill to master, relying just as much on technique as raw power, which is just as well as me and Cy have got to lead out this chap, the Aussie champ, Heinrich Hausler. But it does make a little bit of a refreshing change because we're used to leading out Lloydy. Yeah, so Heinrich, thanks very much for joining us. We are going to need quite a bit of help right now. So first of all, there's only three of us, which isn't a massive amount of riders for a full lead out. Matt's going to go off first, we think. So at what point is he going to have to hit the front in order to do this lead out to the best possible? Yeah, well, because we're only three, you know, you, you, you're wanting to hit the front, you know, at a K to go. Anything okay. before that, you just, you know, we're not going to be fast enough and we're probably going to get swamped. So I'd say you should really try and target a K to 500 metres to go. And what kind of wattage is Matt going to have to do to hold off all the other lead-out trains? To hold off all those lead-out teams, trains, you know, you're going to have to do six, seven, eight hundred watts. So 800 watts, 500 metres. Uh, you sound like you're doubting me, so... No, I'm not at all. I'm absolutely not at all. So, so Matt peels off having done his 800 watt, 500 metre turn. <clears throat> and then what, sh what do I do now as, as the next man to hit the front? Do I have to lift the pace from 800 watts? Yeah, you, you need to try and lift it, but you know, gradually. You don't want to get to the front and just smash it. You really want to do it slowly and make it really smooth and comfortable, but you know, just setting a really high tempo that you know, no other sprinters can uh, pass me. Okay, so, so I casually not flat out go from 800 watts up to, I mean, what, what does someone like Mark Renshaw do, you know, when he's going full gas? I have absolutely no idea, but I, I, I'd have a guess, you know, anything between 1200 and 1400. But I mean, you know, he's slowly, gradually building that up. He's not doing a max power effort. You know, he needs to hold that for, you know, anything for maybe even 25, 30 seconds sometimes if it's, uh, if it's long, but yeah, it's, uh, it's big power. It is big plan. And so where, you know, obviously everything's gone to plan so far. Where do you want to be dropped off? Where do I swing off? Oh, the best would be, you know, 100, 150 metres to go. Anything like a six, seven, eight second sprint, anything longer. Depending on, on the speed, you know, you, you're just risking uh, getting swamped from behind. Oh, mate, that was messy. Oh, you need to pull your socks up, mate. No, but literally, like, pull them up. Oh, right. You're not going to be good at something, you know, you may as well look good. <laughs> so, let's talk, talk us through it. A bit messy maybe, like, came around the wrong side. I wasn't sure when you were going to put it off. I didn't but... take the best lines, I think three wood ran out. Yeah, those, right those well. corners weren't too good. You know, you really need to keep it smooth and take the fastest line. Maybe you, you also maybe need to try and hold the wheel a bit better. Yeah. You're just wasting too much energy. So what do we need to do better then? I mean, I mean should we give it another go? So yeah, smoother. We'll, we'll have another go. We'll, you know, try and just try and hold the pace a bit higher. It was a bit, you know, it wasn't that fast. Okay. And uh, through the corners, you know, really take a smooth line. That was good. That was awesome. Oh, that was nice actually work. perfect. Thanks, mate. A lot, better, a lot better than the first one. It was faster too. Okay. Cool. Yeah. If you guys do a lead out like that, Lordy might actually win it, right? Yeah. Oh, it's all about communication too. You know, you need to pass the. You're on the front smashing out uh, 800 watts. You know, you, you're focused on that. Probably more than 800 watts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, if I say something, then Sai's got to pass it on to you because you're that focused, and maybe you, you don't hear it. So. Superb, good job. So, I think that is how to do a lead out like a pro. 
Now, if you want to work on your actual sprinting fitness, we've got a great video showing you exactly what to do and how to do it. You can get to it by clicking up there. I think you might want to suggest that people click on how to improve their sprinting. Yeah. And if you do, then you can get through this video just down there. Thanks, and uh, to subscribe to GCN, just click here. There's plenty to click on there. <laughs> so is it true that when you're on the Cervelo test team, that Dan Lloyd was you know, actually an alright teammate? Yeah, Lloyd, I remember the time Perry Nisi tried to do a lead out, but yeah, it was nothing like today. Nice. Well, high five. High five. It's nice to see you're out of breath though anyway, so. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. <laughs> yes, high five. <laughs>